We've set up a situation here um, with a length of string passing over two pulleys. In the middle is this object which we know has a mass of 400 grams and at either end are two rocks and the aim of the exercise is to find the mass of the two rocks. And what we're going to do is to place some marks on here. First of all we're going to mark the point there where the strings intersect and then we're also going to mark up here where the strings go. Now once we've got the marks on there it's relatively easy for me to remove the strings and then we can draw a diagram on the paper that's behind. Okay so there go the strings so we have one force acting in that direction and another force acting in that direction. We can call this one T1 and we can call this one T2 and we will have a weight force of 0.4 times 9.8 acting straight down. Now with a bit of help from a plumb line we can introduce a vertical into our diagram and then we can measure two angles. So here goes the vertical and then with the protractor I can measure this angle and this angle here. So lining this up carefully on that side first of all we've got an angle to the vertical of 27 degrees and now using this side and lining it up carefully we've got an angle very similar angle actually but this time only 26 degrees now we want you to use the fact that you've got the two angles and that the mass we suspended in the centre was 400 grams to calculate the tension in the two ropes. Once you know the tension in the two strings you can calculate the mass of each of the suspended rocks. If you'd like to pause the tape now or pause this video now you can come back in a minute to see what the masses actually were. Okay the scales are ready let's pop the first rock on That's weighing in at 242 grams and the other rock is weighing in at 217. How did you do?